Hello and welcome back, or welcome for the first time. In this update, I'm going to be moving my colony of Camponotus nicobrensis into a new ant space nest with an outworld. This colony needs no introduction, as I did a video on them just last week, but what does need an explanation is how on earth did a colony go from 6 workers and just a few eggs to nearly 30 workers and a massive batch of eggs in one week. Well, that's because last week's video was actually recorded on the 5th of April. Yeah, I recorded the audio and the video at the start of April, but didn't have the time to edit due to exams. So at least you guys don't have to wait for the growth of the colony anymore, right? So without further ado, let's get straight into the update. April 28. On April 28, the colony by that time had enough workers to be routinely fed with protein and carbohydrates, so I thought it would be a good time to attach this feeder module to the current setup. Fully grown workers actually don't need any protein at that stage. This is because protein is a crucial building block for muscles for ants, and fully grown workers don't need it to build any more muscle. So all the protein given to the ants is given to the larvae and queen because they still need it to grow and the queen needs it to lay eggs. July 11. On this day, I moved the colony into a new nest and their first outworld. In this point in time, the colony had about 25 workers and a healthy batch of eggs, larvae, and pupae. Throughout this period, I've been feeding them a small piece of egg once a week that they like to tear into small confetti. And the outworld is their outworld module. I planned on making a separate video unboxing these, but I figured it would be more interesting for you guys by just cutting out most of the unboxing and just include me actually using the nest and outworld. Now now, before you start criticizing saying that the plaster is bad quality and all messed up, that wasn't my fault, actually it was. My mealworms that I used to keep actually escaped and sort of hid in these nests and actually lived off the plaster, which is amazing how their metabolisms are able to feed off the plaster. So that's why it's chipped off like that. Anyways, let's get into the move that went horribly wrong. So firstly, we connected their nest to the new nest using some of the connectors. They were very eager to find out what this undiscovered area had to offer, and within seconds they were roaming the- Stop. Go back. And yeah, that's exactly where it went wrong. Looking back at the unboxing footage, I never actually put the acrylic covers on. My bad, I guess? Two workers were able to escape, but due to the very needed breaker module, I was able to prevent any other escapees by closing it. For the meantime, I just used tape to stick a plastic cutout cover that I cut in the heat of the moment. This works for now. So far, I don't think their first experience is too nice, so let's just hope they like it. After all that, and a few minutes later, they had discovered most corners of the nest, and I was quite confident in that this colony would move in no time. I'd covered the nest, and precisely 5 minutes later, the queen and some brood were already in. Well, I guess they do like it. I gave them a nest warming gift to give them the reassurance that this place would also provide for their nutritional needs. I plan on bulking this colony up with protein so that the queen can produce more eggs and the larvae are able to develop faster. Now one thing I'm debating whether I should do or shouldn't is to transform their outworld into a vivarium with some moss, vines, and trailing plants with a thin layer of dirt so that they don't nest. If you want to take part in the decision, then vote in the card on the top right, up there. Now that 5 minutes have passed, for the people that are still here, I would like to thank you very much for staying until now, and wish you all a good rest of your day. Since you're still here, you might as well subscribe, and if you really enjoyed the video then, you know, you might as well click the like button. Guys, that'll be it for this update, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, week, or month. Bye!